Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Natalie and today we are doing a full body 30 minute intense yoga pilates workout. So when you're ready, come to the back of your mat, bring your toes together, your knees are apart and start to walk your hands forward, come into a wide like a child's pose. Allow your forehead to rest onto your mat, feeling a nice stretch through your back and start to connect with your breath here. And slowly start to walk your hands to the right side Bring your forehead down, feeling the stretch through the left side of your body. Just opening up this area, releasing any tension. And then walk your hands all the way to the other side. And then take one more breath here. And then slowly walk your hands back to center. On your next inhale, slowly lift your hips up and forward, rounding through the spine. Come on to all fours. And from here, drop the belly down, lift through the chest, look up and send your hips back to child's pose. We will repeat this movement a few more times. Inhale, round through the spine, come on up and forward. And exhale, drop the belly down, arch the back and drop the hips to your heels and repeat. You can take it at your own pace here. Just follow your breath. Beautiful. And we have one more. And then send your hips back onto your heels, lift your upper body. And now we want to make sure that our wrists are nice and warm for this workout. For this, extend your left arm. Fingers are pointing down, your palm is facing forward. And press your fingers towards your body. Take one more breath here and then switch sides. Now the back of your hand is facing forward. And switch sides. Fingers are pointing down. Feeling a nice stretch here through your forearm. And then switch sides. And now just shake out your hands. Do any sort of movement that feels good on your wrists. And now we are moving straight into our kneeling squats. Bring your hands together, inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes at the top, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower down. Beautiful, keep going here. Every time you lift your hips up, make sure to squeeze and engage your glutes as much as you can. And also keep the tension on the way down. Beautiful few more here. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And one more. Keep your hips lifted, extend your arms forward and start to lean your upper body back, engage your quads and hip flexors. And move forward with control. Lean back and forward. This movement looks rather simple, but it really burns if done correctly. And we have one more. And now stay at this position. Lift your arms up to the side and forward. Two more. Lift your arms, bring them to the side and forward. One more, keep breathing here, hold the tension in the front of your body. And from here, release, bring your hands together. Let's go back into our kneeling squats. 
inhale lower exhale squeeze very good keep going here And we have four more. And three, two, and last one. Keep your hips lifted, extend your arms, and start to lean back with your upper body. This time, go a little bit further. Inhale here, exhale, lean back beautiful two more and last one and keep this position hold the tension and we're going to move our arms up to the side and forward move your arms up to the side and forward and one more time you're almost done here and then extend your arms forward, relax your shoulders, lean back a little more and just hold here for one more breath. I know you got it. And then gently release, bring your hands down, come into your tabletop pose. Knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders and draw your navel to your spine. From here, lift and extend your left leg. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. And now bring the knee to the left elbow and repeat. Exhale, bring the knee to your chest. Engage your core as much as you can. And then touch the left elbow with your knee. We have four more here. Beautiful. Knee to elbow and extend, lengthen through your toes. And last one. And then keep your left leg extended and lifted. Reach the right arm forward. And from here, lower the arm and the leg down. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Think about drawing the navel in, moving with control, keep your neck nice and long here, beautiful. And last one, and then hold this position, take a deep inhale here, and on your next exhale, bring your left knee to the right elbow, inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Beautiful. We have eight in total. Just keep going here. You're almost done. Beautiful. And another three. And two. Last one. And hold for a moment. From here, bring the right hand down and turn yourself into a kneeling side plank. You can either extend the arm up or bring it onto your hip. And make sure your right hand is underneath the shoulder and then start to bend your knee and extend. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Keep your leg at hip height, core is engaged. And your face muscles are relaxed. Beautiful. And we have two more here. Last one. Keep your leg lifted, bend your knee and add 10 little pulses. Just moving your knee up and down in a controlled motion. Very good. And three two one extend your leg flex your toes reach the upper arm up and add another 10 pulses here this is a really great way to work your left outer glute and then hold for one more moment bring the foot down 
come onto your fingertips and reach up 10 times leading with your left hand engage your obliques imagine you want to touch the ceiling and then tap the ground with your right fingertips and repeat and we only have one more here and then come all the way up and over into your gate stretch reach the right arm towards your left leg just taking a moment here to stretch it out and then bring the right hand down underneath your right shoulder lift your left leg one more time bend the knee grab your foot with your left hand open your chest as you move your foot as far back as you can feeling a nice stretch through the front side of your body breathing deeply here very good one more breath and then release the foot down come into your side plank and now we are going to add 10 little pulses here as well move your hip down just a little bit and bring it back up very good you're almost done here we only have three more and two last one and transition into your high plank and lower yourself down chaturanga dandasana upward facing dog on your inhale thighs are off the mat and then lift your hips up come into your well-deserved downward facing dog and now just take a moment to walk out your dog by bending one knee at a time this is a great way to release any tension in the back of your legs in your hamstrings and keep your head relaxed as well find some stillness in your downward facing dog keep your spine nice and straight on your next inhale look forward step or hop to the top of your mat halfway lift and exhale fold down bending through your knees grab your elbows allow your head and neck to become heavy maybe rocking a little bit from right to left to release any tension then release your arms and roll yourself all the way up towards standing and your head is the last to come up roll your shoulders back at the top and I'm just gonna turn around because we are making our way onto the other side inhale reach up exhale fold down inhale halfway lift and exhale come on down onto your knees into your tabletop position from here extend your right leg up and back lift through your toes draw your navel in exhale crunch inhale extend exhale tap the elbow inhale extend and repeat think about pressing the mat away from you with your hands stay strong in your upper body in your core and find synchronicity in your movement and breath very good last one tap the elbow extend your leg here extend the upper arm forward find your center inhale lower exhale lift your arm and the leg lower and lift 
Every time you lift your leg, think about engaging your glute muscle as much as you can and then keep the engagement also when you lower the leg down. And last one. And inhale here to prepare. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tap the knee and the elbow. Lots of power here. Engage your core all the time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. You're doing such a great job. Keep going. We only have three more here. And two. Last one. Keep lifting and then bring your left hand down. Move to the side into your kneeling side plank. Lift your upper arm up or bring it to your hip. From here, inhale, bend the knee, exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Do not lower the leg down. Keep it at the same height as your hip. Very good. Three more here. And two. Last one. Very good. Keep the knee bent at 10 little pulses. You got this. I know it burns, but you're going to be so proud when you're done. Just keep pushing through. Two more. And then hold, extend your leg, flex your toes, reach the arm up and move it up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and then lower the right foot down. Come on to your left fingertips and reach up with the strength of your obliques. And four more, three, two, one, and then come all the way up and into your gate stretch, reaching your left arm up and over towards the right side. Very good. And next, bring the left hand down to the ground. Lift your right leg one more time. Bend the knee. Hold onto your right foot. And open your heart and chest as you move your right foot back as much as you can. Opening up your shoulder and the entire front side of your body. Beautiful. And then release, transition into your full side plank. Your left arm is in line with your shoulder. Reach your right arm up. And now add some pulses with your hip. Lower the hip down just a little bit and with the strength of your core and obliques, lift them back up. Very good. We only have two more here. And last one, hold, transition into your high plank and lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog on your inhale, open through your chest. And exhale, send your hips back into your child's pose. And just take a moment here to rest, to connect to your breath. Take one more deep breath and then come on up, tuck your toes under, find your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat, half will lift and exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise your arms up towards standing. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
and let's flow it out. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen, look up. Exhale, step back into your high plank. Hands are underneath the shoulders, hold it there. Draw the navel in. And on your next inhale, bend your knees, send your hips back. And exhale, shoot forward, bring your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, shoot forward with lots of power here. You got this, very good. And now we have three more. Give it your all. And two. Last one. And then hold your high plank here. And send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift and reach your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Keep your shoulders and hips square first. And then open your hip to the side, bend your knee. Just breathing deeply here, enjoying the stretch. And now square out your hips and step your right foot in between your hands. Find your balance here and then reach your arms up, come into your high lunge. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. And then lower your arms down. And from here, we will bring all of our weight into the right heel while extending the arms forward and lifting the left leg back and up. Very good. Shift your weight into your right heel. Keep your right knee bent all the time. And shoot forward, lift the left leg back and up. Very good. And we have two more here. Last one. And now come on up into your warrior three. Keep a slight micro bend in your right knee. I know it burns, we only have one more breath here. Yes, very good. And then drop the left foot down. Lower the left knee to the ground. And find your way into low lunge. Lift your hips first and exhale, allow them to drop down towards the floor. Feeling a nice stretch through your left hip flexor here. And just breathe deeply. From here, bring your hands down to your mat. Take a deep inhale. And on your next exhale, find your half split pose, extend your right leg, flex your toes and fold over your right leg. And think about pulling the right hip back and the left hip forward so they are in one straight line. One more breath here. And then come forward. Walk your right foot to the outside of your mat. Find your lizard pose. You can either stay on your hands or if you're more advanced, come on down onto your forearms for an even deeper stretch. With every new exhale, allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper. Beautiful. And then come on up onto your hands. Tuck the back toes under. Lift your left knee. And then reach your right arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tap the left thigh. And repeat two more times. 
inhale reach and exhale tap the left thigh and one more reach the right arm up one more time open your chest and exhale bring the hand down step back into your high plank and lower down chaturanga dandasana inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog and let's repeat the same thing on the other side when you're ready inhale reach and extend your left leg all the way up and from here open your hip to the side bend the knee just enjoying this nice hip opening sensation here beautiful and square out your hips step your left leg in between your hands and on your next inhale reach your arms up and exhale find your high lunge and now take one more deep breath here and let's prepare lower the arms down shoot forward bring all of your weight into your left heel this time very good every time you bring your arms forward lift and extend your right leg back and up engage your glutes as much as you can and three more here and two and last one and this time transition into your warrior three one straight line with your body if you're shaking like me you know you're doing a great job and one more breath beautiful drop the back foot down drop the back knee down and find your low lunge this was really challenging so now we're taking some time to stretch it out Take one more breath in your low lunge and then place your hands on your mat. Inhale here and exhale, extend your left leg, flex your toes, releasing any tension in your left hamstring. With every new exhale, allow yourself to sink a little bit deeper into the stretch. And then transition into your lizard pose. Walk your left foot to the outside of your mat. Feel free to stay on your hands or come all the way down onto your forearms just breathe deeply here keep your awareness on your breath and then slowly come on up tuck the back toes under lift the right knee up and then extend your left arm to the ceiling inhale exhale tap your right thigh two more inhale reach exhale tap and one last one beautiful reach your arm up one more time and then bring the hand down and transition into your high plank And from here, lower yourself down to the ground with control. Bring the front side of your body onto the mat. And bring your hands in line with your shoulders, elbows are in. Inhale, lift into your baby cobra, neck is long. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower down. 
and one more lift and this time bring the hands away from the mat and behind your back interlace the fingers roll your shoulder blades together lift yourself up a little bit more and then lift your legs up at the same time as well engage your back muscles keep breathing look down to the mat keep your neck long and from here extend your arms forward reaching through your fingertips and toes and just hold for five four three two one and then release press your hands into the mat and come into your downward facing dog well done and now we are coming to the end of this workout so let's flow through some vinyasas lower down upward facing dog and downward facing dog beautiful and two more high plank chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog and one more vinyasa at your own pace very good from here come into your high plank and let's finish this workout strong with some mountain climbers we are starting slow and with time we are picking up the pace think about pressing the mat away from you with your hands and let's pick up the pace run it out as fast as you can just give it your all we only have a few more seconds keep going here and five four three two one and then release your knees down to the ground and send your hips back into your well-deserved child's pose beautiful job that was really challenging and you can be so proud of yourself we're just taking a few more minutes to stretch it out to slow down and cool down Bring the front side of your body down to your mat. Come into your forearms, into your sphinx pose. And you can either stay here or start to extend your arms, but always keep a slight micro bend in your elbows. And play around with the position of your hands the further you come to your body the more intense the stretch gets feel free to add some gentle neck rolls from one side to the other very nice bring your head back to center lower yourself down Press yourself back up into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg all the way up. And exhale, come into your pigeon pose. Inhale here, open your chest. And exhale, walk your hands forward, come onto your forearms. Just feeling a nice stretch here in your right hip flexor as well as in your left glute muscle and keep your awareness on your breath and then come on back up onto your hands and fingertips step back into your downward facing dog and lift the right leg all the way up and find your pigeon pose on the other side inhale lift your chest 
and exhale come on down onto your forearms find length in your spine and keep your neck nice and long then take one more deep breath come on up onto your fingertips and swing the back leg forward and come into an upright seated position inhale reach both of your arms up exhale lean towards the right side And then circle the arm forward and around and reach the other arm up and over and then come back to center take a moment here to thank yourself for taking the time and I want to thank you for joining me today and please let me know in the comments down below how you like the intensity of this workout and let me know what you would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I post weekly workouts and yoga flows. I hope to see you again very soon. Have a great day.